these are their journeys. Jill Williams thinks she's here to audition for a makeover show. What she doesn't know is that she's already been chosen, the show has begun, and we have a little secret. This is a two-way mirror. Behind it is a jury of nine strangers that she won't be able to see or hear until we turn on the lights. On our jury today, a real estate investor, a production assistant, a lawyer. We've asked them to give us their honest first impressions of Jill. Jury, are you ready? Ready. Let's bring her in. Hello. Hi there. Oh, you better lose that. Lose that. Oh, Murphy. Is that a, a man or a woman? Grandma Cowboy. Crocodile Dundee. Works at the carnival. Jill, describe so Jill went to meet up with our bombshell coach, Jacqueline. So how long have you guys been here? For a lesson on the art of flirting. Hey! <laughs> Can I get my regular bear? Wait, wait, what? what? Uh, bear. Ladies, bombshells don't drink beer. So listen, what you really need to work on, in my opinion, is flirting. Flirting is really important because it's a nice way to connect with other people. It can be harmless, it can be overt, it can be intentional, but it's always a way to connect with another person. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to start the conversation. I... Come on, give me something. Excuse me, you have the time? Jill actually came out with the lamest line, truly, in the history of womanhood. No, something slightly more creative. You know, help. The most important rules for flirting are eye contact, some sort of tactile gesture where you connect physically with the other person briefly, and having an open body language. This is wrong. This says, don't bother me, I have to get drunk. You can have one hand on the bar, but there has to be an opening. I had no idea there'd be so much involved in becoming a bombshell, and I probably haven't even scratched the surface yet. Okay, I, I think I can do this. Excuse me, that seems like a really interesting drink you have. What is it? Excuse me, I think I felt a mouse run above my hand. What was that? When Jill tried to touch my hand for the first time, she touched me like she was afraid to touch me. And that is easily conveyed when someone doesn't do a confident hand gesture. When a bombshell flirts, she flirts because she wants to and she means it. Okay. I want it to be like, excuse me. Okay. I want you to put it on there and drag it gently across. It tickles, doesn't it? Yeah. The touching is a little bit <laughs> personal to me, but I'm going to work on it. Excuse me, that's a really interesting drink you have. <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed because by the second time, Jill got it quite quickly. It was tingly. So you think you have that all now? Put it together? I think I can give it a good shot. All right, good. Vic? Oh. <laughs> I was barely prepared to practice on her. <laughs> now she wanted me to practice on Vic, who is my regular bartender, which is a little weird. Yes, Jill. Vic, can I get a drink, please? Certainly. Oh, look at that watch you have on. It's well, great. Well, thank you very much. That's beautiful. Yeah. Jill did really well flirting with Vic, the bartender. I was highly impressed. 